solved the various problems that have plagued these games, perhaps this one was the easiest to solve. Visitors to the outdoor Olympic flame found a new fence built overnight in response to complaints leveled by locals and visitors. It's a wonderful sight still to see. We can take pictures of it, and uh, we're pretty close. This was the scene on Tuesday as the cauldron controversy heated up. For days, onlookers had been kept at a distance behind a fence covered with netting, the same kind of fence that surrounds virtually everything that has anything to do with the games. The explanation offered by Vancouver organizers that they underestimated the interest the public would have in seeing the flame didn't seem to hold water with these fans. It's actually very surprising as well to me. Uh, I think the Olympic cauldron is actually a, a very important symbolic uh, symbol of the Olympic Games in every city, and it will leave a legacy here in Vancouver. Now, not only have workers moved the fence closer, there is an opening for picture taking. Even better, organizers have opened a viewing ramp along an adjacent building to give spectators an overhead view. Hundreds waited in line to access the deck Wednesday. Olympic organizers rushed to take credit. We actually believe we have a solution that's better than the one that, uh, uh, that uh, people were originally asking for, which is that people now can get above the cauldron. They have a, a great view deck there. And the visuals today, obviously, are spectacular. But for some here, like Dan Graves of Seattle, Keeping the flame behind a fence, any fence, sends the wrong message. This is a symbol of the Olympics. Why wouldn't you want to get close to it? The cauldron will be a permanent fixture in downtown Vancouver, which means the fence will come down when the games are over. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Vancouver, British Columbia.